I can see why a lot of people would think that the last time in their life when they might want to hire a PA would be when they're in the middle of a divorce because they're thinking, oh my goodness me, there's all this money going to go out the door. Why on earth would I want to pay somebody extra to do stuff I should be able to do myself? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first thing is probably you can't do it yourself just at the minute. Your normal self could do it, but just now you really can't because you're in the middle of a crisis. That's completely normal and nobody thinks that it's bad to have help when you're in a crisis because it's exactly the right thing you can do to help yourself. The second thing is that ultimately I probably will save you money because when you actually do everything that you need to do in anticipation of your meeting with your financial planner or with your divorce lawyer or whoever it is, because I've helped you to collate that information, you probably will save an enormous amount of time when you get there. And guess what? Their time is more expensive than my time. So one way or another, that will probably really save you money. And also, along the way, we probably might do other things like review your utilities and all that kind of thing that you never get round to. But I can just say, let's do it. We've got all these bills out. Let's just do it. And you might be surprised how much money you save that way too. Hello, I'm Andrea Cater, and my business is My Perfect PA. And what I do is I offer niche PA services to people who are at pivotal moments in their life, typically getting divorced, becoming elderly and less able to cope, suffering a bereavement, that kind of thing. So times when you might normally be able to cope, but just at the moment you need a little leg up. What I'm seeking to do is just to support somebody through a difficult time, keep them on track to make sure that they achieve the objectives that are important to them, but at the same time keeping an eye on what really should be the priorities and guiding them in the right direction, because I've done this before and they very probably haven't. But when they very first get separated, um, seem to cope quite well. Um, the adrenaline carries them through that section of the time and they might seem to be quite normal in their functioning. They cope every with everything in a perfectly normal day-to-day -day way and then what happens typically is a couple of months in or two or three months in it can be up to six months into that whole process people have a bit of a crash and they get to the point often where they find it impossible even to do something simple like open the mail they can also let other things go like their housekeeping standards and that kind of thing and that in turn can lead to problems because they can find it very difficult to let other people into their environment which in turn makes it very hard for people to help them. So very typically, what I need to help somebody with when they're in that beginning of a divorce process is to actually get back to a normal place with their normal paperwork, because oftentimes it's too difficult at that stage to actually address the proper big forms that you need to do to actually complete that divorce process. And also, by doing that, there's a sense of them being able to normalise their life and actually that in turn makes them feel more in control and like life is a little bit more normal and they are themselves rather than this shadow of themselves that you can turn into in this period of grieving. When I judge that it's appropriate, we can then move to collating the information that is required for the purposes of very often going to see a financial planner in anticipation of then finally producing the for me that is required to go to your solicitor with to complete the divorce process. And obviously, it's not always somebody getting divorced, it might just be somebody getting separated. They might never have formalised their relationship, but many of the challenges and the requirement to collate that financial information are just the same. So I know that for a lot of people, financial paperwork is daunting even on a good day. People sometimes lose track of what accounts they have, you know, in terms of actual bank accounts and assets. And I can obviously help to track down all the details that they're going to need for their financial information. So making sure that all the options are covered in terms of have they considered all of their bank and building society accounts? Have they looked at all their pensions, maybe old ones that they've almost forgotten about? all those kind of things, just making sure that we have a coherent picture of everything. Because very often, as well as actually that forming part of a bigger picture of the forms that are needed to be completed, it also can, that whole process can actually trigger a memory of something else that was completely forgotten and could really be of major relevance to the whole situation. Very often people find it quite daunting to go to a solicitor or a court hearing or something like that by themselves and in many situations I'm able to come with you. And that means that not only can I just be a companion to support you but I can also make sure that you do cover all the areas, for example with your solicitor that you've intended to, 
And you know how we all can't remember when we come out of a meeting all those things that were said? Well, guess what? I'll probably be sitting there taking notes for you so that afterwards when you want to reflect on what was said, you've got a written record of it. And people find that immensely helpful. I'm often asked to help with what might seem a bit of a surprising thing, maybe to make a telephone call about something completely unrelated like an electricity bill. But in the background, there's sometimes an emotional connection which might make that very difficult because if it's connected to a property that for some reason is you know, an emotional trigger for that person, it can make everything related to that property almost impossible for them to deal with. And another thing is that um, people very often need to very urgently address their finances and so doing a review of their utility bills and providers can be a very useful thing because it can offer an immediate saving and an immediate cost benefit to them. I'm familiar with the steps that are required, I'm familiar with the challenges you're facing, I'm familiar with how you feel because I've been there myself. What I really am is the opposite of a virtual PA. I'm a real PA. I actually come to you, you see me, you deal with me personally. I'm quite happy to come to your home and really do pretty much anything you want. I'm quite happy to get in there, deal with the nitty gritty of getting whatever the situation is that you're facing into a better position.